Yep. Oh, just go. Oh, oh, it's going. <laughs> oh my god, I wasn't prepared. <laughs> Molly here again for another video and I look really short behind this counter but um that's because I am so I am really excited about today's video you guys have been asking me to do a how I cook as a blind girl video probably since the beginning of my channel and I've been avoiding it because I don't cook is how I cook I've said it before and I'll say it again I know blind cooks there's like Christine Ha is a really famous blind chef I'll link some info on her down below. Even if I was sighted, like I don't have an interest or passion in cooking. And so then add the extra challenge of blindness and my busy schedule and no. <laughs> I'm lucky enough that my amazing mama bear lives and works with me still full time. Um, so she usually cooks for me or we're on the road so we have to eat out anyways. And being in LA, there's also tons of really healthy food options, I can Postmate stuff, like there's so many options for me to not cook and devote my time to other things that I'm more passionate about or that interest me more, so I don't know why I keep talking about cooking because we're not even cooking today, technically we're baking, yes, I do know the difference, step one, and I'm not talking like baking from a box of muffin mix, we're baking from scratch and I'm doing it alone. No help here. You're coming along with me for this ride. I've never done this before. Low key terrified. My cupcakes are inspired by Rosanna Pansino's honeybee cake recipe, which is technically like a baby shower cake from her book. I am not having a baby. I just love bees and thought this sounded delicious. It will look so much less beautiful than hers does, but that's fine. I can't see what it looks like anyways, as long as it's delicious. I also want to mention that this video is brought to you by Johnson & Johnson and their partnership with Save the Children. I'm so grateful to have a brand like Johnson & Johnson that believes in my content and supports me, so shout out to you Johnson & Johnson, really appreciate you. Johnson & Johnson has been partnering with Save the Children and supporting them for a number of years now in a number of ways, including their Gifts of Joy catalog that they come out with every single Christmas. They're actually matching donations dollar for dollar up to $450,000 to help save lives. That's a lot of money. That's amazing. And through the Gifts of Joy catalog, you can help give fun and unique gifts to your friends and family that will actually go on to help people around the world who need it most, especially during the holiday season. There's tons of options of things that you can give, but when I was looking through the catalog, the thing that excited me the most is that you can give, wait for it, drum roll please. Bees! Gallop is unamused. <laughs> unamused bee, aren't you? You're an unamused bumblebee. That's right, you can pay just $60 and that gives a community a bee supply that provides them with a steady stream of income. So for a friend or family member in your life that just has it all this holiday season and you don't know what to get them, I think giving them a gift that gives back to other people is such a great idea. I'm gonna leave all the info you need down below and I'm just gonna throw it out there. I'm challenging my killer bees to give a bee this Christmas. All right, this bee costume idea was really cute, but I am sweating it up, so I'm gonna go get ready to bake. I'm back, I'm ready to bake. Look how official I look. This hat, are we all dying? I am obsessed. <sighs> okay, <laughs> I don't know where to start. Okay, my mom is going to be my like recipe reader off camera, so Mama B, where do we start? Don't you love our color coordinating organic products? I'm so excited. Okay, first step, I have to preheat the oven to how much? 350 degrees. 350. Okay, is it these? Nope. That doesn't make any sense. I feel like these should be for this. Um, so it's back here. Yes. There. This. Hit that. Okay, we have a little button, Molly. Feel the button. Oh yeah, this. Yeah. There. This. Hit that. Did I hit it? Oh. There, you did, and it's at 350. Perfect. You got it. You got it! Jeez. Okay, okay. <laughs> First step done. Step two. I present to you my cupcake trays. Hers is a cake. I'm doing cupcakes because it's more fun. 
And it's yellow for bees, of course. So we've already lined those. Okay, in a large bowl with an electric mixer, beat the butter, sugar, and honey into light and fluffy. Sugar and honey. I'm getting stressed. Okay, I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna grab my. And then. This One butter? and a half sticks of butter. That is butter. This is? Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at me. Ooh, they're like little things. Yeah, thinks it's cheese. I see. Ooh, it's nice and melty. Mama Bear came to the rescue. I feel like. The key to blind baking and cooking is using your hands a lot to feel stuff. So I washed my hands thoroughly. The most convenient part about having an apron is I can just wipe my hands on it. Is that is that what it was? Yes. Is that like the idea of it? That's the purpose of an apron. My mom in 24 years has like never seen me bake. So she's like <laughs> laughing away like... Okay, this is one cup, right? Yes. The biggest one? Yes. There we go. Need no, to... I can peel it. Here. But like, look, they have the like ridges on the edge. I should be able to peel it. It, it has. It literally has like scissors on it, and oh. it says cut to open. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, this is tough. I think you need to cut a little bit lower. There you go. Boom. That'll do. Uh, so a cup and a half? No, one cup of sugar plus two tablespoons. Okay, we're getting very specific. Tablespoons. What's which one's a tablespoon? So the biggest one is the tablespoon. Spoons are easier to measure than cups. Pro tip. Okay. Next. Honey. Is, is this the honey? Yes. yes. Three quarters of a cup. So that should be the next cup down. There's no three quarter cup. Mm -hmm. By the way, if I was like an avid baker and cook cooker, <laughs> cook, like I liked to do these things alone, I would just braille label all of my. Things, but I've never done this before, so they are not braille labeled. Is this, is it going? It is going. I think this is gonna be a slow process. <gasps> She's talking to us. We're gonna have to wash all these before doing the flour. That's why they make you do the flour first, Steve. <laughs> Cause now I have to wash all We're gonna need to wash everything before we do the flour. <laughs> Okay, so while I mix this together, my mom is gonna help me wash these since we accidentally did the wet ingredients before the dry ones, and we don't want honey on the flour, so. What do I push? I think you just move it forward. Yep. Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh, it's going. <laughs> oh my god, I wasn't prepared. <laughs> okay, let's go low first. They're gonna be like two-handing it. <laughs> the end of the beater. Like sugar and butter. Now I'll go wash my finger. All right, my wet ingredients are mixed. My spoons or cups, whatever they're called, are clean. And I'm gonna move on to the dry ingredients where we should have started. <laughs> Put together the flour, baking powder, and salt. So Ro, what is with these two, <laughs> two cups plus tablespoons? Never heard of this before, okay. I'm becoming a cooking channel now. <laughs> Got my flour, baking soda, and salt. Yeah, your baking powder and salt. Oh, baking powder, okay. Right there, Got baking it. powder. Baking powder. So, two and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder. Oh, peeling that gives me the heebie jeebies. It gave me goosebumps. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see them. Teaspoons, not teaspoons. <laughs> <laughs> Highly concerned about this looking aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> so she's making me pretend to, <laughs> to turn so pretend <laughs> instead of using this. <laughs> so, here we go, guys. Putting the salt in in a very aesthetically pleasing way. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna actually put the salt in. Should I just wing it? We don't have a whisk, do we? Oh yeah, Ro did give us a whisk. Thanks, Ro. 
Bro gave me like this oven mitt filled with baking stuff, and I was like, I'm never gonna use that. <laughs> and here I am using it on her very recipe. Okay, next, my eggs. This is the exciting part. Okay, oh, oh, this is messy, okay. Wow, there's no garbage bag here. <laughs> One down, two to go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That felt pro. Minus my like, hoo, hoo, hoo sound. <laughs> Shellless. Killing the game. Wait, Got him. Yeah, I want to say, I bought this mixer even though I never planned on baking because it was aqua and cute. So, okay, can I do three shellless cracks? How did I do? It looks clean. I'm basically Gordon Ramsay. What now? Four and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. This organic vanilla is called like howling dog or something. Singing dog Singing. vanilla. Organic pure vanilla extract. Speaking of dogs, Gallup is out for a walk, which is why Jake is now reading. Okay, so is this this is the the big one, isn't no, it? No, 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 no. That's a tablespoon. Oh god. So because I can't see and this would come out really quickly, I'm like covering the opening, so it's like coming out a lot slower. Ooh, it's starting to smell really good. Alternate adding the flour mixture and the milk to the butter mixture. Oh, that's so specific. Okay. <laughs> I knew this was gonna be the trickiest one. Okay, yeah. Don't cry over it. Ha 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 ha. That's a good dad joke for you. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to pour this into a cup and pour from the cup. There you go. Boom! NBD, NBD. You can like hear it's getting, it's becoming different. Like every time I beat it, it starts to sound different when we add the different ingredients. I'm really disappointed in myself because I poured the milk into this instead of into my bee glass and I'm kind of upset about it. Could have stuck with the theme. Oh well, this is floral and bees like flowers. Who it's wants to lick the beaters? Callum. Me. <laughs> okay, so the last step for this part before I get on to homemaking icing is putting it into my yellow cupcake tins. I just washed my hands, so they're very clean. I feel like that's the like pro tip when you're doing anything cooking or baking is just washing your hands constantly. So they're very clean. I'm gonna have to use my finger, I think, to like scoop and then like make sure I'm getting it in the right place just because I don't have enough eye-hand coordination to do it with another spoon. So I'm finding it with one finger and then bringing my other finger to meet it. Oh my God, it smells so good. I wish you guys could be here to eat this with me. Be here. Okay, I'm gonna fill the rest of these slowly but surely the exact same way and then uh, we'll be back for me to attempt to put them in the oven. Okay, so they're full. I am now going to attempt to put it in the oven, which terrifies me. Wait, I'm left-handed. Should I be doing this with my left hand? Okay, that it might one. even be harder with that thing on Yeah, there. maybe just take that off on it, because it's when you take it out, out of the oven, it, yeah. I so I'm not going to burn myself? So go for the, aim for the top shelf, which is right. Yeah. Go a little lower. Yeah, can you feel it? Yeah. Nice. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, you got a lot of room. You got about four inches, so go straight down. Oh, God. A couple oh, God. inches. Up, I don't want. Up. I don't want to touch it. And just yeah, yeah just, no, just, just push it down right quick. Uh, push in. You're good. You're good. Okay. Push. Just straight. There That's you it. Go. Okay. That's it. God. You did it. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that was a real genuine fear, you guys. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna let those bake, and then my mom is actually gonna take over now and make the honey buttercream frosting and the dark rich chocolate frosting. So it's like black and yellow bees instead of. I mean, it's brown, but. It's black, you know? And she's gonna make, I was gonna make it, but we're running out of time. <laughs> Cause it took me so long to make the cupcakes. So she's gonna do the frosting and then I'll come back and I'll ice them. See you then. So we have our first batch of honey cupcakes. And what I think is hilarious <laughs> is that Jake and my mom took over making the icing so I could get some work done and they could go faster, and um, they messed it up. So I didn't mess up my part of this. They messed up their part. Both the chocolate and the honey icing are ruined. So I think these 
might end up being honey muffins <laughs> instead of iced cupcakes. I'm going to attempt, they're trying to make a second batch of the honey one. I don't think it's gonna be any better. The honey one was unedible. It was like curdled. Do you want to show it? Rancid. Yeah, let's get a close up of that. Uh, it's... I'm not sure we want to show this. No, it's really gross. Show we should it. show it. Mm, Jake's just yeah, upset because he made this one. I don't know what you're talking about. It wasn't me. So he's feeling a little bit bruised. The ego. There's... But my muffins, my friends, are perfect. Are perfect. That's right. Perfect. So I'm going to ice some of it and try it. And then we'll decide if I'm just going to serve up these as muffins or as cupcakes. I'm honestly kind of scared to try the chocolate half. So first... Mmm. I did well. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm scared. Because you're eating like the crunchy top of the muffin, can't tell as much that it's kind of like you the like icing just, is just, you know, drizzled crazy. some sugar on top. Like people yeah. do that with cupcakes all the time. The whole purpose of this is that I was gonna bake cupcakes <laughs> And bring them to the volunteers and bring supplies for all the fires that have been happening in California. We get in the car and my mom is panicking about the muffins. She's like, who has the muffins? They're now muffins because they don't have icing. So I was like, who has, where are the muffins? And I was like, I brought the muffins, it's fine. And she's like, oh, thank God. Could we imagine if we got there without the muffins? Then we nearly drive off without the entire giant bucket of band-aids and first aid kits. The real important part of this video, the band, the actual like healthcare supplies versus the like 24 muffins. <laughs> oh my God. Like the, the place we're donating to is really far away. So if we had forgotten that, whoo, girl. We're done. <laughs> that would not have been fun. That would have been miserable. We like literally were pulling out and Jake was like, oh, there's a giant red bucket of stuff in front of my car. I should probably get out and grab that. And we're like, Oh my god! Way to be panicking about the muffins and even forget what really matters. So we're here in Agora Hills, which is a part of California that was really affected by the fires that you've probably been hearing about, the wildfires. Basically, I wanted to come give back, physically give back in some way this holiday season, help out the people, you know, in my Southern California area that have been affected. So we asked this group what they need and I'm gonna go in and they'll kind of tell you a bit more about what they've been doing and collecting and how they've been helping. But they said they really needed Tupperware. So we have this big red one and then this little white one which has the muffins slash meant to be cupcakes so that's gonna be for the volunteers to snack on and then in here they said they really really needed band-aids so in here we have all these band-aids and some first aid kits Gallup are you interested so we got lots of fun ones the different characters and stuff and literally like this thing is stacked full we cleared the shelves of every band-aid and first aid kit we could find because that's what they said they needed the most along with Tupperware. So we're gonna go bring this in and hopefully help some people. Hello. Hi, I'm Kim. I'm Molly. Oh, nice to meet you. Thank you hey, for the nice hug. Nice to meet you. I'm a big Hi. hugger. Oh, good. Hi, who's so this? this is my guide dog Gallup. Hi. He baked Gallup? you these from scratch. He did. He's very that's talented. That's amazing. So these are for the volunteers because oh, I know you guys are, are all really standing hard. there going. Should we go get lunch? Okay. Hi, Molly. This Thanks. is Jennifer. Hi, Hi Aaron. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Aaron, you say hi. hi. Aaron, you say hi. Very nice to meet you. Oh, you have this filled with band-aids and first aid kits. Oh, perfect. Products. Thank so, you. Lots of good stuff that'll hopefully help you guys out. I think it's awesome what you're doing. Can I come check yeah. out what you guys are doing? Can I give you a hug? I always like of to course, I you. love hugs too. <laughs> I hug everybody. It's so. harder to hug with the cupcakes the, in the hand. Yes. Gallup found the dog treat. Hi. Of course, what's your name? I'm Charlotte. Nice to meet you, Charlotte. I watch you all the time. Thank you. This is Gallup. Gallup, come say hi. And so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take them and put it into cardboard boxes so that a family can actually take that bin home filled with supplies. That's awesome. So we're reusing all of our, we're reusing the boxes that things come in, but also making sure that they have containers or suitcases to take things out in. And you, so, so you like you aren't you guys aren't like an established charity or anything, right? You guys just kind of like stepped in. Right, we just stepped in, but we did uh, team up with the YMCA, so the Southeast Ventura County one specifically. So we are working as a um, we are an established nonprofit with, because we've teamed up with them. Right. Okay. So uh, we have a tax ID number. Everything is you know being done by the book. Uh, right now we have four big asks. 
Um, one are the bins that we were just like the, your red bin, right? Um, and luggage because we have so much stuff in here. There's a lot for the families to go shopping for, mm. but um, a lot of them don't have places to put it right now or ways to transport it easily. So that's why those two things help a lot. The other is monetary donations, yep. um, money. Everybody's in a different point. So it's kind of hard um, to say, oh, this person needs this or this person needs that yeah. um, and to fill that. And then number four is to spread the word. So, I mean, you doing this is yes. amazing. But um, And is there like a website or anything I can yes. link? Okay. Yes, we would love it. Uh, the website is um, lvfirerelief.org. And on there you can make, um, it's a resource for families that have been um, displaced by the fire. So it's really important that families that might have been affected by the fires, they go on there, we have lots of information for them, but then it's a place for other people to find out how they can help, get involved, and we're asking that people consider if they don't have to donate a lot, mm -hmm. even five, ten dollars, but then if they tell a hundred friends, yeah. that, that then by you donating ten dollars and asking your hundred friends to please do the same, you've essentially given us a thousand dollars, but then that next person, and so it keeps growing that way. Exactly, the domino so, effect. Exactly, so that's what we're trying to get the word out for. And soon we're gonna be starting uh, registries for all the families so they can help- uh, Get what they need. Get the needs that they need, specific right. to them, and for the holidays so people can adopt a family. The volunteers have been amazing. I've been so blessed that this place is constantly filled with volunteers, people who just wanna come and help, and they just keep it organized. I mean, we now have it where the rounders are by gender and by uh, age. So when somebody comes in with a two-year-old, they can just get a two-year-old. Can people who need this just drop in any time? Yeah, any time. Yeah, nine okay. to five. Nine to five. And they this can week just is nine to five. Next week. They don't have to oh. call ahead. They don't. They don't have to um, not this week. Next week they might want to call. We do have a number on their um, the website and say, hey, what are your hours? Next week they'll be changing, but they will be posted. But just because it is volunteer based, we yeah. need to make sure that we can have people here. And uh, but yeah, people can drop in to go shopping or to volunteer. Gallup you know? is really excited that you took dog donation. Dog food. He's like, yes. I'm trying to remind him that he is not a dog in need. <laughs> he is. His waistline. Is he, does he look like he's well fed? Yes, he does. His yes. waistline is. Not in need. We're gonna explore a little bit. Yes. And see what's here. Look around. Muffins are delicious. <laughs> delicious Yay! muffins. Oh my god, did you hear that? <laughs> They're delicious. Um, you want a muffin? Wrap yourself in this. It's a bee blanket. <gasps> it is not. It's a bee blanket. You did not find a bee it's blanket. So pretty. That is so funny. There's so much bee stuff in the world that I would never notice without you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we draw attention to the bees. Yeah. People think they're like mean and evil and sting you, but we here. need the bees. We should Wow, this is amazing. Look at this little one. Wow, you guys, think of how much time this would have taken all the volunteers. If this was in Canada, it would be like all puffy winter jackets and snow pants. This is coming up when you've lost everything in the fires. Yeah. And it's like, think about it, you guys. It's tragic when one neighborhood house burns down in a house fire. Think about all of the houses, like entire streets being wiped out by these wildfires in California. It's, oh, I mean, it's just heartbreaking. Wait, I'm not sure. Everybody so much. Oh, thank you for what you're doing. I hope you guys enjoy the muffins. Thank you. Bye. You say bye and thank you, Erin. Thank you for the Thank you guys for what you're doing. It's awesome. Thank you so much for coming. I'm going to hug you. So nice to meet you, Pam. All right, sir, let's go. Oh, I love it. That Thank works. you, guys. Yeah. Bye. 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 All right, you guys, that's it. We've uh, baked some cupcakes slash muffins. Honestly, I'm not much of a sweet, sugary person, so I low-key like, preferred them without the icing. They were really good. My mom's a little salty because she didn't get to have one, but that's okay because I'll just make her another batch now that I'm like baker extraordinaire. I could just whip them up anytime. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me try to bake alone for the first time ever and spreading some holiday cheer, doing some good, helping people in need. I'm gonna leave the link below for the Gifts of Joy catalog. Thank you again to Johnson & Johnson for sponsoring this video. Appreciate you. And I'll see you guys next time. Keep killing it.